We just gotta get it cleaned up, but it's, it's just a total nightmare right now, so yeah, it's just like a, a mess. Like Mike said, the upstairs was kind of a mess. Originally, we had intended to keep the sheetrock up and skim coat it, but when we took a closer look, we knew it needed to come down. So we grabbed our mask and started demo. I definitely recommend grabbing a mask when pulling down sheetrock, and especially when pulling down old insulation. That stuff is so gross. If you can, definitely invest in a Tyvek suit too, but we just threw on some long sleeves so our skin wasn't exposed. Eventually, Mike crawls out onto the porch roof so I can hand him the trash and he can chuck it into the dumpster. Then we take a look at the framing. All right, we're here at Rosewood. We got most of the stuff demoed upstairs, and now we're gonna start cleaning some of this framing up and reframing stuff and all that jazz. So if you see here, it's a very tiny hallway. These are the stairs. Yeah, it comes up the stairs and it's pretty tiny. You're probably gonna want more space moving furniture and stuff like that. And we can eliminate part of the bathroom because we're not putting a tub back in. We're gonna put like a 48 inch shower base in. So, and this framing's all like messed up. You can see it's hacked out down there. This two by fours is floating in the wind. This, these two by fours are nailed together somehow, uh, you know. This, these closet walls are on like on their the two by fours are on the belly. So like we're gonna clean all this up. We're gonna take this wall back, frame it back this way a little bit, open up the hallway, frame our door openings on both sides, including the bathroom door. Make sure our ceiling joists are they align, frame our opening for our shower base. We just gotta get cleaned up pretty much. We'll frame our openings for our closets because once again, they have like the two by fours on their bellies and it's just like a mess. We got to figure out where we're going to put a light switch here because they put it into the trim somehow. So whether you open the door this way or that way, we'll have to put a, we'll have to leave room for a light switch. So we got to do all that stuff today. Just clean up this upstairs, get it framed out, get it ready to do rough plumbing, rough electric insulation, you know, get it ready for all that stuff. Just a little bit more demo as we rip apart the bathroom. Again, we had intended to keep it the way it was, but decided it needed to be redone. All right, we're here. We got everything nice and cleaned up for the most part. You can actually see probably where they put this uh, dormer on, whether it was original or not, I can't really tell, but you see they probably framed it out more. They eliminated part of the hallway to put a tub in here, but we're gonna bring it back, make yeah. a bigger hallway and put a, uh, sh like a 48 inch shower base in with a toilet in the back. Where this like pale wood is that, the tub used to sit on top of that? Yeah, out right. to there. Whatever, we got it all cleaned out. We're gonna build our wall here with our door opening. And we're gonna, we have to like level these uh, ceiling joists out, whether we have the sister pieces in, whatever we gotta do, we kinda gotta get that level. So we'll stri strike our lines, get our, our openings measured, our, our door openings all measured out, you know, put our bottom plates down, and then we'll build up from there because you're not gonna pre-build a wall and try to stand it up in this little space. We're, we'll have a laser, laser line to measure for our ceiling joists, whether we gotta push up or bring down, whatever we gotta do to try to kind of, you know, it doesn't have to be perfectly level, we just need to get it in line with each other. So when we go to sheetrock, it's nice and flush. We'll have to reframe these closets that are just packed to pieces. You know, you can see like this, this ceiling joist was like cut in there or something, and then it doesn't even go to like the rafter. So we'll have to piece in there or whatever we have to do. But what I'm gonna do is I'm probably gonna build my wall first and then about the, because I don't have 16 foot two by fours, and then I can throw an eight footer in here and an eight footer over there or whatever to get our, our ceiling rafters afterwards. So we're gonna go from there and do it. We did a lot of agonizing about whether this upstairs bathroom should have a bathtub or not. Eventually we decided that we'll put the tub downstairs only because if we put the tub up here, it would really cut into the hallway space. So we called our friends at Penn Supply and got the measurements for a shower pan and then laid the base plate to create the perimeter of the bathroom. Uh, we got our bottom plate down. So we're putting a 48 inch by 32 inch shower base here. 48 inches long, 32 inches wide. 
I took my measurement from this wall to here, which is 48 inches, gave myself three inches for trim. And then I took my measurement from here out, which is a, the vanity is gonna go here, but it's not gonna tuck in this corner. It's gonna be centered here. We'll have like a, a gap between the vanity. But either way, I still took my measurement from my vanity, which is I think 22 and a half plus a half inch for sheetrock, which is 23. And it gave me this opening, which basically if I add three inches for trim, add three inches for trim, I can only put a two four door here, which is a 28 inch wide door, 38 inch rough opening. So that's what I was able to determine there. Um, I'm not gonna have to worry about trim here as much because the vanity's not gonna touch here, or I might have to worry about the outlet because, or the light switch because the vanity ain't gonna touch. So that's fine. We got our bottom plate by accounting for here. John, get, get out the way. Get out the way, get out the way. I ran that bottom plate across for our closet with the existing wall. And I took our measurement. We want a 36, a minimum of 36 inch um, hallway. hallway, but with the shower base here, which is 48 and a 38 inch wide opening for our toilet, because there's a wall going to go here for a shower diverter, 30, 30 inches wall, 48 inches. This is the minimum space I can get, which is 35 inch finish opening, which is close enough. This ain't, it doesn't have to be perfect. I, I can now put a uh, two six door here. Just a refresher for everyone, a 2-6 door means 2 feet 6 inches. So, 2 times 12 equals 24, plus 6 equals 30 inches. Which a 2-6 door is better for getting, like you want at least a 38 inch rough opening, or 38, or a 2-6 door, which is a 32 rough opening, but it's a 30 inch door, to get furniture in and stuff. So really you want a 2-6 door, 38 inch door. Um, I was able to get that. And I'll put my light switch on the wall here and it'll probably open in that way. So we did all that. We got our bottom plate in. I got my marks from my, my, uh, my door opening here. I'll cut the bottom plate out once we frame everything. And then we went up to the ceiling joist and you can't get it perfectly level because it was never built level, this dormer going across. So what I did was I started on my low point, ran this, the board that attaches this wall over, and then I dropped this board the same height so this wall will be level and now with the existing floor uh, ceiling rafters I, I can either pull them down and screw them in or i can that's basically what i'll do i might have to cut and then cut it here drop it down and then reframe another piece over so but i got my measurement going across there i lined up my two plates now i can start framing my wall here that, for the bathroom Alright, we're wrapping up for today. We got a lot of the most of the walls built. Um, and we got our, our ceiling rafters set right. These Cape Cods are the biggest pain framing them and dealing with all the angles and everything, sheet rocking them, spack on them. They're these Cape Cods are the worst. I'm it's like my third house is a Cape Cod, I'm ready to kill myself. But <laughs> we, we're almost done framing this one. We got this wall built, the ceiling rafters done. We got this closet pretty much furred out and, and cleaned up. We just gotta fur this one wall out, finish that back corner. And then we, we need to get our nailers in for everywhere. Nothing in this house is straight or plumb or anything. So we're trying to work with what we got, but we got a decent amount done. We got our layout done, which is the hardest part. So that's pretty much it. Happy Saturday.